Here's a video of Aeon MQ6 Part 1 Install the Skin. Make sure you only do is create your own custom build. What's up guys, it's XBM Connect here. Now in this video, I'm gonna do another do-it-yourself uh, custom build of this media player and we're gonna use a different skin this time. So you're gonna go to System, go to Settings, go to Appearance, and go to Skin Confluence. And this is where you're gonna find other skins, but unfortunately you only have installed as the Confluence, which is always has been the default skin. So go ahead and go to where it says Get More. Once you click on that, a Windows will prompt up, and we're gonna go ahead and choose uh, the very first one, Aeon uh, MQ6, which is basically the same as Aeon Nox, but this one's a lot uh, improved and more light and more powerful than ever. Obviously, you can install these in a Raspberry Pi because it's it's lighter. Not this one though, because it's real heavy in um, certain devices. So if you have a device more than like two gigabyte uh, memory. Or RAM then you could probably pull it off so I'm using a Mac so obviously it's a 16 gigabyte <laughs> memory Mac so obviously it is gonna work so let's go ahead and install it right when you click on it it'll just install by itself and let let this uh, download for a few seconds and then it's gonna add all these extra dependencies these artwork and all these other stuff so let that install as well now once you see that, it, the, the skin that changes, go ahead and click yes at the very top and then you'll be uh, brought to this screen which will apply everything, the defining writing main menu items and all this other stuff. So as you can see, it is version 3.30 and it's updated in December 5, 2015. So this is probably the latest one, probably the last one until uh, the new version of this media player and then they'll probably update their skin as well now keep in mind this skin is really fully fully customizable and it's more a little more advanced than the previous skin that we just had but that's more of a beginner as you can see it's totally changed and has that like more appealing look right as you can change all that and then vibrant pictures and then you can see how it's highlighted right here my screen my arrows white and then goes to red and just all sorts of stuff and then the clock is over here and stuff so without further ado let's go ahead and go to settings and then this will bring be brought down you could actually change stuff from right here if you want but we're gonna go ahead and do it the other way so I'm using my keyboard so it's a lot easier um, so yeah, I can press down and then you can see all these other options, which is submenus, as you can see. So what we're gonna go do is, um, or you go ahead and click settings right there. And you can go to appearance or skin settings. Now if you go to appearance, like I said, you can actually go through it here and it goes to the skin settings anyway, right? So if you could go this one, it'll be the same thing. Or if we were out in the thing, we would just go right here, skin settings. So once you installed it and all that stuff, so I'm gonna go through a few little customization stuff that you could actually change within yourself. But first, before we do that, let's go ahead and download uh, where it says extra pack. The reason why I want you to download it because there's other themes that you could download. So um, this is one we're on right now, it's color, colors image theme standard, which is default. And then as you can see, the pictures doesn't change. Like you could change it in any other theme that they have installed, but you have to actually download. So you're gonna go to extra pack. Thank you for watching and please subscribe to our channel and like our videos and follow us on Twitter at XBM Connect to keep up with the updates.